Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be working on a, another project. Uh, this time we're going to be uh, working on a chest, uh, showing you how to set it up in the new um, new interface and everything like that. So first thing what we're going to need to do is uh, import our, if we have any models or textures, we're going to need to import those first. Now if you're just working with a basic block, then you're going to want to import just your textures, but in this case I'm going to be using a custom model I built uh, from uh, scratch in Cubic. I'll make sure to provide the download on my website, um, but uh, that'll be in the future because I'm actually currently working on the website right now and I can't really update it right at the moment. Um, outside of that, uh, first that thing we're going to need to do is import our resources. So I'm just going to go to my desktop, select the JSON file, and actually we're going to need to import the textures first. So I'm going to import textures, blocks, and then go to wherever chest is located. That's not chest. Chest, and then I'm going to import all my textures. So once you have all your textures imported, uh, if you're using a custom model, then um, then you just go to uh, 3D Models and Textures, and then you click on JSON for your block, and then we're going to select our JSON file, and then we're going to assign all our textures, so that's actually top, so it's all in alphabetical order, so I think top would be... Oh, if you just hover over it, it'll let you know which one is which. So left, left's that one, bottom, that's bottom, that's, is that back, or, that's back, and lock, that's the lock, front, front, and right, which would probably be this one. Okay, once you have all your textures imported uh, into your model, then what you can do is save. And that's going to assign all the textures in your model, so you don't need to worry about the actual textures in the um, when assigning them. So now we're going to go to our mod elements page, and we're going to select the plus icon, go to block. We're going to call it um, custom chest. Uh, this is just for the tutorial. You can call it yours, whatever you want. I'm going to just select a required texture down in the bottom uh, square, so it actually has an icon in the program. Then what I'm going to do is select the JSON file model that we just imported. I'm going to select rotation uh, based on player player side rotation, uh, southwest, northeast, and I'm going to go on cutout. Now if you're doing... Um, any model that, or no model, then you don't really need to set the rotation or transparency. Um, but in my case, I do. Now, I actually am a wiki creator, so I did create a template so you guys can figure out the block dimensions. If we hop open, uh, hop over to M Creator Wiki, I can quickly figure out the size that I need for the actual model. Okay, so we're on the block dimensions and bounding box uh, wiki page. Down below are some charts for uh, figuring out the exact core or exact size for per pixel. Uh, this is the original Minecraft size, and this is the size that you're going to have to use for your boundary, bro boundary box if you're going to be using custom models and stuff like that. Now, of course, custom models will vary depending on your shape and stuff like that, but the easiest way to calculate um, how many pixels to offset it is to go down on the pixel list on your uh, size for minimum and size for maximum coordinates. I'm just going to show you how to quickly do that. So I know that the chest is actually one pixel in, so I'm going to select this one right here, and I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to go over to the program, and I'm going to paste that. Uh, something happened here. There we go. Something seems to be... Let me try copying it again. 
There we go. Okay, so that, uh, our minimum um, coordinates, so this is on the bottom, so we want this to be set to zero, and then we want that to be the next coordinates, and then all three of these will be the same. So I'm going to go back over here, go to the maximum coordinate, I'm going to select that like I did last time, and I'm going to just paste in all the same coordinates so it makes a nice rim around it. And that's all I need to do on this page. The next page, what I'm going to do is just give it a name. Now, this is going to basically give it a um, GUI name, so when you're hovering over the item, it'll say that it's a custom chest. And we're going to put it under decorations, and we want it to be wood, as well as wood sound. We don't need that. Um, we don't want to walk through it. It doesn't drop itself, that's fine. Self touches the way it should be. That should be an axe. And then we can click next. We don't need any particle effects if, unless you want them. Now, uh, you have to enable this. Uh, this is to enable the entity inventory. Now, this is important to enable because we're going to be adding a GUI and linking it to the GUI. So we actually need this set up first. That's why we're building the block first. Uh, if you want to enable these, this is optional, but uh, as far as I know, you don't really need those in order to make it. Now, 27, I let me just make sure this is right. Times three. Yeah, so 27 is the uh, full chest inventory of a Minecraft chest, so you're going to want to set it to 27. Unless you want a smaller inventory, then that's fine. Uh, click Next. Uh, right now we don't need to configure any of this. Uh, we don't need to configure any of this. And then we have our block. So the next thing that we need to do is create a GUI. So I'm going to call it uh, GUI custom block. So I know that it's the GUI for the custom block. And now we're going to be presented with uh, straight into the actual editor. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select with uh, GUI with slots and I am going to select our chest and then it's going to pop down an inherited inventory here. That's important and to make my life easier I'm going to actually select the snap components to gr on the grid. So I'm going to enable this. I'm going to only use input slots and um, hold on a second. No. Uh, input slot, that one, that's the one I need. Okay. And then for the most part, you don't need to change too much. Um, every time you go to add a new one, you just want to increase this number by one. So start with zero and then work your way up to, I believe it's 26 that your, your number should be actually finished. Now you want it under the inherited inventory and you don't need to worry about procedures or colors or limited to any stack size. The way it opens up is perfectly the way it needs to be configured. So I'm just going to drag this uh, where I go right here and then have one space or one uh, grid space available just above and then count two up and then two up. So there should be exactly two uh, in inventory space um, available at the top there. We'll be putting some text up there later. So I'm going to start at the top corner and I'm just going to add one extra number here. So this is slot one and I'm going to continue doing this until I get all the inventory slots filled out. So three and this will be four and five and as you can see, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just going to go along until I reach this uh, corner here. So I'll cut back in when we have that. Now, one thing that you might want to know is if you misclick somewhere, you can actually scroll down to the slot number. Uh, that's why we're, we always start with zero is so we can easily find it on this list. Uh, 
So 25 I misplaced uh, by accident, so I'm just going to select that and then use the blue icon up here to move it again. And I'm going to place it back down into the right slot. And 26 is our final inventory slot, and again I misplaced it. So I'm just going to move that and place it down again. So once we have that done, uh, I like to offset the grid um, on the y-axis to 30. And then I usually add a label and I just uh, go custom chest. And now the default color for um, Minecraft's um, text is uh, 64, 64, 64 on RBG, which is red, green, blue. So if we go to the RBG tab here um, and select our red color to 64, 64 on green, and 64 on blue, and leave alpha the way it is, we can click OK, and that's the text color that they use in the inventory. So our text here is going to be the label that we're going to be giving it, and that's the color that we're going to be placing down. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm just going to put it uh, just right here, and then it's going to offset it a little bit at the top there. That's fine. It looks, it's still readable and everything like that, and it's aligned perfectly on the uh, X coordinate, so that looks great. I'm just going to save the mod element now and uh, then we can actually go back into our block. I will go to procedures which is over here and on right click uh, we're going to create a new custom procedure and what we want to do is we want a couple things. Uh, we want to play a sound so if we go to is it world or Okay, so if we go to world management and play sound here, we can add a chest sound, uh, chest, chest open, and then what we can do is go to uh, player and then open GUI for provided entity player and then the GUI that we just created. Now if you have multiple blocks with GUIs, uh, then you want to select, uh, or any multiple GUI, then you want to select the right one. That's why we name it the same thing as our block, so we can easily find it. And that's all we need to do, we can just click OK, and then click Next, and Save, and then we'll hop in game and I'll show you guys how the chest works. Okay, so we are back in game. If you go to your decorations tab or whatever tab that you've placed your custom block under, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom of the list, it will say custom chest. If you select that and um, place that down, you can actually open it. It'll play the sound and you can store things in it like custom chests. And there's no actual close um, sound because there's no way to detect when the inventory closes. Um, maybe um, Kalman or, the, you know, in the future we'll be able to uh, have a procedure that when the inventory closes we can actually detect um, if it does close and then we can create a uh, closed inventory sound. But outside of that, uh, that's basically what it is. It's not too much different than the regular chest. I noticed that it's, the chest is actually two blocks shorter than I was predicting, so I'll have to fix that up. But outside of that, uh, hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.